Good morning. My name is Joel Signorelli, and this is the Flight Director's Report for the 5th of May. For Spirit, it's Sol 831. Now, Spirit has been in its present location on Low Ridge since Sol 805, and that's where it's going to spend the Martian winter. Now, the rover drivers have actually tilted the vehicle, so we've got a 10-degree north tilt, and that's actually enabling more solar energy to come out of the array about 50 watt-hours more per day uh, than, than we were getting before. So that's going to help the vehicle withstand the Martian winter, hopefully. And in this present location, the scientists are really eager to look at this geographically, geologically interesting area over the winter. And so they've started their, what's called their winter science campaign, an opportunity at Sol 810. Now, we've been trying to drive as much as possible with this vehicle. And in the past week, we've been averaging around 30 meters per drive Sol, which puts, uh, puts us around 1,200 meters from Victoria Crater. And in the next few weeks, the scientists are anticipating actually seeing the rim of Victoria Crater appearing on the southerly horizon. This past week, we've deployed the instrument arm onto a surface called Brookville. And on Brookville, we took the microscopic imaging first, then used the rat brush to, to move some of the dust off of it, and finally finished off with some boss power and APXS integration. So that's what's been happening on Mars, and my name is Joel Signorelli.